This video is on how to do a dilation. And this dilation, we're going to use a scale factor of 1 half. Because this scale factor is less than 1, we can call it a reduction, which means we're getting smaller. So supplies that you will need. You'll need a straight edge. Here we have a simple piece of paper and some colored pens. One color for each vertice would be great. So we're going to draw a line from the center of dilation to the vertex. Now we need to measure the distance or to mark how far away the vertex is from the center. So put the corner of your paper on the vertex of your triangle and mark where that center is. Now, the scale factor here is one half, so we want half of the distance. That's very easy to do with paper. Just fold the paper in half. Pull the center, the corner that you use for the other vertex, up to your mark, and give it a little crease on the edge. If you unfold it, you'll be able to see that small fold. Line them back up so that corner is on your vertex and the mark is on the center. And now mark on your paper right where the one half is. So this new mark here is exactly in between that vertex and the center of the dilation. We will repeat this process for the other two vertices. Make sure you switch colors for each vertex to keep things organized. Line your paper up, draw a line from the center of dilation to the vertice. Remembering we don't need to extend beyond the vertice because we are reducing, we're getting smaller. Line up the corner of the paper on the center of dilation and mark where the vertex is of the triangle we're using. Because this has a scale factor of one half, we're going to fold that corner of, from the center of dilation up to where the vertex was marked. Give it a small crease. Then unfold it and you should be able to see where that is. Mark it as need be. Line it back up. Use the corner back on the center. You line your green mark up on the vertex and mark the green mark in the middle. Last vertice. Make sure you grab a new color of pen. Draw your line from the vertex to the center of dilation. Then make sure you line up the corner of your paper on the center of dilation and mark where the vertex of the triangle is. Our scale factor is one half, so we're going to fold the corner where the center of dilation was up to where we marked the vertex. You can use this same process here of folding for thirds and for fourths as well. Just make sure you fold it into three equals pieces or you fold it in half and then in half again for fourths. So we folded it and we marked where the center was. Now we're going to make sure to put that mark onto our paper. Okay, so we have our three vertices marked for our reduction. Let's connect those vertices now so we can see our new figure. Shade it in, make sure it's easy to see, and also so we're communicating clearly with the teacher. Okay, so let's talk about the properties of this, these triangles. It's going to be a lot easier to talk about these if we've labeled the vertices first. So our original figure, which is called the pre-image, let's call it triangle A, B, C.
If that's ABC, that means our dilated image is the image, and it's going to be A prime, B prime, C prime. So because this is a dilation, we know that the two triangles are similar. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. We could also write the scale factors. So when we write scale factors, it's always image over pre-image. So we could say A prime B prime over A, B equals one half, because that's the scale factor we were given. We can also write that A prime, C prime over A, C equals one half. And finally, B prime, C prime over B, C equals one-half. Dilations are a similarity transformation. In similarity, we know that the angles are also congruent. So angle A would be congruent to angle A prime. Angle B is congruent to angle B prime. And angle C is congruent to angle C prime. So remember, our scale factor of one half means that the image A prime B prime C prime is half as large as the pre-image A B C. So we could write three equations to represent this. We can say A prime B prime is or equals one half A B. Repeat for each segment. A prime, C prime equals one half AC and B prime, C prime is or equals one half BC.